Hey guys, it's Duke, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Single Player Survival Let's Play. How are you guys doing today? I am doing absolutely fantastic, and I hope you are as well, because we are back for another video, and I am so happy to be here. I hear an Enderman. There's one close. Don't know where he is. We're going to try not to end up having to fight that dude just yet. Because we need to harvest some sugar cane. Obviously, the most important things first. No, but in actual actual news, I'd say sugar cane would be more important at this point. Solely because I know for a fact today, we are going to get ourselves a level 30 enchantment. Because if you guys look at my enchantment bar right now, we are at 29 levels and one tick basically away. Hey, that was a full harvest. I need to find that guy. We're one tick away from hitting that 30, and I'm so, I'm so prepared for it. It's going to be a good time. I need to move my microphone down just a little bit. It was kind of in the way. Where is this boy? Is he above? Oh. I'm, I'm going to assume he's up here, right? Yeah, there he is. Okay. Hi, buddy. Okay, you were just... Oh, no. They've arrived. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, no, you guys definitely don't see me over here. What? That's actually scary. We need to save the villagers. Um, I am not prepared to fight any of those boys. I hear a skeleton. Oh, this is... Oh, okay. This is exposed to the surface on either side. Let's just block this up for now. Act like that's not there. Probably for the time being would be uh, the best scenario but in today's episode I would like to get a level 30 enchantment hey look at this oh there's the uh, there's the enderman don't know how he got in here but I, I created a little bit of a farm area nothing nothing too crazy just enough to get a little bit of resources because well I'm gonna need that kind of stuff at some point because we only have 10 pieces of bread right now and that's not really gonna be enough but that was a raid and that kind of puts a halt on what I thought I was going to be doing today. I thought today would just start out be a pretty easy going episode in terms of what we'd actually uh, accomplish. And by what I mean we'd accomplish is basically we put all of our effort forth building and hopefully uh, getting some sort uh, of, of pasture or something like that set up for a bunch of cows. That way we can get a level 30 enchantment in today's episode, which we will. It's going to happen. Uh, we need to make a shield. I completely forgot how to do that for a second, but I really want to take these guys on. And I believe we do have we do have a bow. We have two bows. Let's. Am I gonna use? No, I forgot. You don't use any levels by doing that, so that's actually very important. We need to get those guys before they can raid the village. That is something that I wanted to get done immediately. I completely have forgotten how to make a shield. So let's do something that we have not done in this, and that's just utilize uh, the recipe book. Normally, that's not something I do. I'm just, I, I, I mean, I know there's a purpose. They wouldn't have put it in there if there wasn't, but it's just, I don't know. I'm so accustomed not to using it that it's kind of just, it's weird for me to think about. But there we go. Let us go get these boys before they can get on over to the village. I'm aware it is nighttime, but hopefully, yes, they're still over there. Okay, if you guys can see, that's good. What is... Oh, that's a fox! I've never actually seen one of those in this. So we're going to have to do this well. Where's the raid captain? Okay, so there is a raid captain. Can we... Oh, shoot. Here's the thing I'm worried about, right? They, they haven't moved, so that's good. But if we don't have a cow, we can't get cured of the bad omen which means there's gonna be a raid next time we step foot in the village unless now I'm gonna do what's called a pro gamer move <laughs> we don't have any lava available do we uh, we have a we have a map or something somewhere don't we what are the odds there is exposed lava on the surface around here somewhere all right so at least not in this segment what about this one no Alright, well that's not the end of the world, we'll just toss those aside for now, I don't know how else we can really kill it, um, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to make another bucket, we're going to go try to find at least one cow, that way I can 
get a little bit of a, a milk bucket. That way we don't have to have the bad omen and immediately slaughter all the villagers. Because I don't really want to do that. And I think I'll be back with you guys when we're ready for that. Alright guys, we did not have to go very far to find a cow, which is actually pretty important, considering the fact that we're going to need this boy uh, for this episode. I assume he has buddies. Kind of need him, or else we can't breed. We can't just breed one cow. Hi, skeleton. Hey, let's get a uh, achievement right here. Bam! Slap, slap, slap. You're done. Okay, time to go. There's a zombie. He is dead right now, and I'm just knocking out these achievements. Would you look at that? Uh, but let's go kill this raid, guys, because I have not done that in this series yet, and I think if we we should just be able to pick them off. They're not really that difficult. Um, <laughs> they're they're actually pretty bad. Um, but where'd they go? We have an issue. The raid is gone. I don't know why, I don't know how, I don't know where they've disappeared to. Either they despawned, that is obviously a, a, a high percentage chance. There's an egg right there, I'll pick that up. Hi, I hear you. Ah, move so fast. Move so fast, boy. There he is, he's done. Let's go check on that village, because I'm really kind of worried. They Do they do that? Do they actually like raid it, or do they just kind of spawn outside of a village? I don't know enough about 1.14 to actually answer that question. So we're going to run towards the village, see if there's anything being attacked right now. If not, we'll figure out how to get these cows back, which I will grab some leads, I think, just in case. Uh, and we'll do that. So worst case scenario, guys, we're going to get some cows out of the deal. All right, guys, so we've come running into town. And by the looks of it, there's still villagers. So if they are slaughtering them, they're doing an awful job of it. That dude is literally still chilling on it. Oh my goodness. I need a name tag. Name him Fury. That would just be funny. But one thing I did see was this boy. He's just the wandering trader. Is he literally by himself? Boy, did you lose your llamas? I think he lost his llamas. That's a same guy? Question mark. I don't really remember too well what his trades were. I don't really necessarily need to know. But a thing that would be important for us is to somehow get these villagers. I, I, mean, I think that would be top tier. I need to find a way to do that. But it does not seem like this is being raided. So let's take our single lead that we have and the wheat that we also have with us. And go grab a cow. We'll bring them. That way we can at least start breeding cows. Uh, as far as villagers go, I don't think we'll be able to breed any today. But we can at least move one or two. If I can quite remember how to do that. that that'll be the biggest thing, guys, is actually remembering uh, the correct way to do this. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lead these guys just because they're not very far away. And I only have one lead. So we kind of have to use what we've got. Um, but uh, using a lead is a lot better alternative than the wheat. So let's bring this guy over here, find an area, and I'll be back. All right, so there's one cow about to grab the other, but while we're doing this, I think I just heard a llama spit or something, actually. That was kind of a weird noise. But if you guys can see, there's a lot of exposed stone, and this was not here last episode. Off camera, I went ahead, did a little bit of uh, just terraforming landscaping. I need to come through, clear out the rest of the stone. But I did think it would be a good idea to kind of level off this area, maybe expose a little bit more of this level to the surface so get rid of all the stuff that was above it that way we have more room to work with and I also planted a few 4x4 four four trees I had a lot of oak but I chopped them all down I just kinda got these up for the podzol and I suppose if I really want it I, I can you know go over there and actually get some but I'll leave these guys up for now I'll probably take them down at some point uh, mostly because there's no real need for Podzol out here in the grasslands, considering there's a tiger right behind us. And we can definitely just create the Podzol over there and bring it over if we ever need a silk touch. But, I'm going to go get the other uh, cow here, and hopefully I will figure out how to get a villager. Dana, 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 Dana. Come on. Oh, he's in! Hello, horse. Which, did I get the good one? Um, oh god, they're both in the boat. No, 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 I don't want you both in the boat. That's not gonna work. Um, I kinda need to drive, let me drive the boat. <laughs> Come on, guys. For real. Um, what do I think? Beetroot? 
or wheat? Whoever gets in the boat first, I think. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, no. I guess it's this guy because the other guy is scared off. So, no. Come back, please. Father, forgive me. Get in the boat. <laughs> come on, dude. All right. I legitimately thought there was a better way to do this. Um, apparently there's not. That's an... You got tossed. I am stuck inside of a block, question mark. Can we please not... Oh, I see what's happening here. We're stuck on the path block. So let's get you up and moved over to the grass, buddy. Come on. Come on. Not that difficult. Oh my gosh, it's that difficult. We cannot go on the path. That's not going to work for us here, buddy. So... We'll just create a little bit of a pathway like that, I think. Here's the boat. Can you please get off the composter and into my boat? Wait, did he just... Oh! Ah! I see, and that gave him different traits. Okay. I see how that works. Alright, well, come in with me, buddy. You don't have much of a choice. Can I use water to get up? No. <laughs> that did not work as planned at all. Come on. Come on. Up here. Wow. Okay. Um, you know, we're really going to have to think this one through. Because this is not working. Okay. Stay in the boat. We can figure this out. I can escort you to this waterway over here. I think. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> I'll be back. Oh, no, 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 no. Come back. Come back, brother. Brother, please. Don't do this to me. No. Please stop. Please. Okay, okay. You need to get in the boat right now. Come on, buddy. Do not. No. I forgot I could walk through doors. This is bad. Come back. Yes. Okay, we have him this far. Oh, we saved that. All right. Down you go. Push you all the way down. You should have enough speed. Oh, we have plenty of speed. Oh, my God. I pushed him all the way through. Okay. Let's break. Oh, I don't know where my cobblestone went. All right. How are we getting you in here? Should be if we just take a couple pieces of dirt. Put you... Mm. Suppose we could do something like this. We have, we have the technology to rail this boy in. Let's not say we're going to rail anything. <laughs> Let us not, please. I do not want that to be a thing. If we take... No, no. Please, probably not. Turn this up into there. We're going to grab a little bit of food because we're about to starve. We're so close, though. We're so close. We're getting there. And then chuck this boy on top. He might hit... I don't know. We'll see how this works. I don't exactly know what to... Exp well, I pushed him the wrong way. Okay, here we go. This is it. This is it. Yes, okay. That's fine that he got hurt. Because he did not get mad at me for it. That's basically the only thing that mattered. We have him locked away. We can... Get him out... No? Yes, okay. Two villagers, a weaponsmith, and a mason. He's angry. He's not. I can use... You know, honestly, I'm going to go get a little bit of stuff, I think. No. I'm probably going to end up changing their stuff just so I can figure out how to breed them. I'm going to read into villagers a lot, but I think we're going to do that in a later episode. I just kind of was happy to get these guys in here just in case the raids would have come in and destroyed everything because that was the, my biggest worry, guys. When I saw the raids coming in, it went, oh, boy. I'm going to lose any shot at having villagers ever, so let's get them right now. That way we don't have to worry about it at a later date. Um, but I think we should be to a point right now where we can better focus on cows, and that way we can get our level 30 enchant that we've been so desperately wanting this entire time. They're back. They're here. They're coming. I knew this would happen. They're stuck in water. These boys don't understand, do they? Huh. Well, it's one of those things where I'm happy I got the villagers done because now I don't have to worry about it. But these aren't going to be easy. I mean, <laughs> they're easy, but it's just, 
it's just annoying. It gets to the point where it's like, really? I'm trying to, like, do stuff with my cows? Can I not have to deal with these boys for just a moment? I lost all my arrows. <laughs> Let me go grab that real quick. Because I need those very, very quickly. Um, there we go. But now that they're pretty much stuck in water, I can pretty much just easily pick them off. Not really. I wasn't worried about them to begin with. But apparently I don't know how to aim with a bow because that went straight down. Did you guys see that? That was just awful. And now here they're coming. Alright, so they're moving a little quicker now. Because they're actually anticipating a fight. But... Yeah, you're the only one I am worried about because you're going to give me the omen. And you actually hit me. Wow. Yeet! Okay, that was actually super satisfying right there. Just so you guys know, that was pretty sweet. Um, in case you hadn't figured it out already. There we go. There's our milk bucket. And we did get a crossbow out of the deal. Our first raid got a crossbow. I won't complain about that. There's an arrow that we kind of used. Kind of just lost. But alright. Got those guys cleared out without having to worry about anything. The only thing I don't want to have to do with is the fact that they're going to come back around again. But... Let's just quickly take some cobblestone wall. If we come through, make a little bit of an area. This doesn't have to be anything perfect yet. I don't want it to be. I'm literally just more... I, I carry more about getting it done rather than the looks, which is not something you'd ever really find on my channel. I've always been one of those builders who's just like, it has to look good sort of deal. But for now, let's just get these cows up and about. That way, I don't have to put them down in this little hole, because I'm sure they don't want to be there any longer. Come on, guys. Get on out of the hole. <laughs> Follow the leader. These two made it out. Come on. I don't know what's your issue. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to find a way. I will just... Yeah, there you go. Okay. The last remaining boy down here just struggling. There he goes. Yay. Yay, Mr. Moo. Come on done perfect so now I can just take the hay bale breed them up oh no oh okay that's actually gonna work in our favor they're fighting each other and then we use the black carpet trick because again not looking for looks normally I would do actual fences with some sort of pattern but really let's just try trying to get the cows out here that way we can breed them and let's finish the skeleton because he is frustrating me. So now that I don't have to deal with him anymore, let's go sleep, let's breed, and I'll be back with you guys when hopefully we have enough cows or leather to actually get a level 31 enchant. Alright everybody, just making a new hoe, and now I'm on over to a new farm that we're just starting, because what I've realized guys, the one down in the cave for the time being is just not working well enough, and you know what? Might as well just expand outward. I know... A big plan of mine is to try to create a base underground that would be entirely self-sustaining, which means we wouldn't need this at all. But for the time being, I think I want something like this. I'd like the upper area out here to look good at some point. Obviously, cobblestone walls, not going to cut it. But giant wheat fields, they look good. When everything's fully grown, oh yeah, you bet. I, uh, I really do enjoy those personally and I'd, I'd love to have just a giant one I feel like you know the grassland is the best place to have it and you know we'd have the taiga and stuff in the background could be a good it could be a good look but I'd like to kill a couple more cows because we are nearly to bookshelf level and as you can see we have quite a few little guys in there because we've been breeding a lot but look at this we have a cow's head which I can become one one with the cows <laughs> They'll never suspect anything, guys. They will not suspect anything. At all. Definitely not. No way. But we are eight leather pieces away. Now we're six. From getting ourselves a level 30 enchant. And I think we're at an okay spot. We can just kind of slaughter cows without necessarily making any new ones for now. So let's just grab our eight piece of leather okay we got nine <laughs> well looks like we'll have a book left over so maybe we can enchant it you know just use it for other things at some point or we could turn it into a a book and quill put it on our lectern that would be kind of cool uh but let us go ahead and we just throw some paper in here throw that leather in as well and then we should be about good guys 
There we go, 15. A 15 is what you need for a level 30 enchant. So if we come on into our little enchantment area and place some around the corners here. Eh, we'll just do something like that. We'll fill it all in eventually, but just for now, that's the look. And that's a level 30 enchant. So let's make ourselves some tools real quick, guys, because I would love to use our diamonds on the most valuable things that we can. And... I guess what we'll do, do we want to go, how do we want to do this? We have seven. All right, we'll definitely do a pickaxe. That's just like iconic Minecraft, right? It would be wrong of me not to. So let's chuck that in here. We'll see what is possible. Efficiency four, okay, which by me makes the most sense to do at this point in the game. Uh, you know, silk touch and stuff would be lovely. And that's a bat question mark it is did you see that that was totally a bat right or am i going nuts there was nothing there the oh okay it was a particle effect i'm just nuts don't listen to me <laughs> why are you guys even watching this oh i'm so bad i'm such a I'm, I'm such a unprofessional youtuber of course um but let's throw this in here i'm not even gonna bother looking at what some of the other enchants can be just for the first time because up level three Level 30 enchant for a efficiency 4 on a diamond pickaxe is probably the best we're going to get. Let's see what we get with it. 3, 2, 1. Bam! Enchanter. It's our first enchant. Okay. The epitome of a work pick. I am totally okay with that. Very, very happy. Let's see what we get on another pick. A silk touch. Guys, we, we'd, we'd get a silk touch. When we could get looting... But we have the levels. Riptide? Nah, I think we're good for now. You know what? I think we're going to do it. I think we're going to have a second pickaxe enchant just for the time being so we can get ourselves... Yeah? I think this is a quality investment right here. Literally just silk touch. Okay. <laughs> Not as much as I was hoping for, but we'll take it. So I think what I might do is just for the sake of figuring out what we could get is I'm just going to leave those two alone pretty much. I'm going to leave the Silk Touch alone probably for now. Um, just, you know, as I'm mining, just doing stuff mostly with iron pickaxes just because they're fairly renewable at this point. We'll save the other diamond. I know it could try for a shovel, but we'll just hold on. What would the shovel give us? It's probably efficiency four and I'm full of it, right? Yeah, there it is. Um, we could try to get to level 30 and get a shovel but I know a lot of people would say hey at least get a sword or something before you get a a shovel but personally I use my shovel more I value a strong shovel just to sh I'm a shovel guy so uh <laughs> you know but guys I think before we wrap up today's episode I would love to tell everyone that we will be building in the near future I want to come through I want to replace this I think I'm gonna cover this little lake up I love having lakes around, and I will definitely incorporate them into the upper area out here. But normally, Minecraft uh, default generation, as far as lakes go, especially little things like this, just don't look very nice. So I think for the sake of just building an area that looks good, we're going to go through and we're actually going to make everything man-made, trying to look natural which I think will be obviously a better alternative to something like this. This just looks bad. So we'll get rid of that and try again. That was an Enderman, I think. Interesting. Uh, but up here, guys, I think this is where I want my little home to be. Because if you see how the village comes on out here, it gently slopes up. And then you get to this point and you have kind of steep angles on the other sides of it, which I think would be pretty cool. You get some pretty good looks at it. Uh, I'm going to make something out in creative in a single player testing world and we're going to see how that looks and then I'll try to find the resources I need. Um, that way we can build it with you guys here probably in the next couple episodes. I need to get some building guys. I want a barn for like s horses and things out here. I want these cows to have a much better life than they are right now. So we'll do all that. I love building. Uh, don't don't get me wrong, guys. I know you guys have not seen a whole lot of that in this, you know, series. And, and I kind of apologize for that. That's very unlike me to do, especially <laughs> through Episode 3. Um, 
but villagers have got my eyes, guys. I want to do this. We had one turn over into a farmer. I don't know why this guy's chilling in the compost pile right now. That's interesting. Uh, I've got him up to an apprentice. I did a couple trades with beetroot. We don't have any carrots, I believe, so we can't do that. Um, but I've made a little pumpkin farm just right here. Nothing too big, but it's got me enough just to trade that a couple times. Uh, and then this guy obviously is still, still just kind of, I don't know. I, I don't know if I really want him. But we'll see how that goes. We have some flower pots around, which I think, <laughs> for as ugly as this area is, it's one of those things. Well, just all right. Until we actually look good, we will go with something like that. But guys, I think what I want to do is between next episode and right now, go ahead, lay something out over here. That way, I get an idea and a picture of what I'm gonna build. That way, next time you guys see me. We can actually start gathering resources for our first starter home, which will hopefully have a grand cave little area below it where we can really get to work. But I think now that you've seen Enchants, I think I'm just going to go ahead, do a lot of mining as well. Just a lot of off-camera work that will just speed up the process of getting to where I want to be. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys had an absolutely terrific time. I know I did, and I am so excited to see you guys again. So thank you all for watching. This has been Duke. If you liked today's video, please be sure to leave a like, comment down below. Tim, I'll see you next. If you're new to the channel, hey, check me out. Stick around. Let's have a good time, and uh, let's figure out what we want to do next. So thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.